Hey everybody, welcome back to this new episode of the Balanced Vibes podcast. Thank you for joining me today. I know it's been quite some time since you and I last talked and a lot of things have happened in the meantime. So actually today's episode is going to be a little bit of like a um, life uh, update um, episode so we can catch up and then hopefully we are back to our normally scheduled uh, podcast episodes. I am looking to find somebody who would help me with uh, production of this podcast because there's quite a bit of work that goes into it. I absolutely love talking to you. I absolutely love talking about my favorite topics and also interviewing a lot of great people uh, for this podcast. So I love everything about it, but it's just the the, the other parts of the podcast that need to be done too. Um, and I'm hoping to get some help with that so I can start bringing more episodes to you again. But like I said, today is going to be sort of like an intro uh, back to, you know, let's say back on track type of episode. So I'm going to give you a little bit of like a um, life update, what has been going on since we last talked. And the biggest change is probably that uh, we no longer live in California. So um, Hugh and I decided to about a month ago, a little bit over a month ago, moved to Arizona. And we had been thinking about it for quite some time. Uh, we really you know, we loved California. We lived in California for five plus years, probably six years. Uh, I first moved there in 2012 when I got my scholarship. So I went to UC Berkeley for one year and then Hugh moved to California um, the next year. So 2013, early next year. And then there was a little bit of time when I was back in Estonia and he was in California, but then I came back. So basically we lived in California over five years, five, six years. and. We really used to love that place. Uh, we, we enjoyed it a lot. And there was a period of time when we thought that we would never move because, um, you know, it seemed to be the place. But a lot of things changed last year. Uh, 2020 was definitely different. So uh, we started feeling uh, more and more that we need to move. We need a change. We have to be somewhere else and do different things, um, live in a little bit different environment. And also we just really wanted a bigger place to be honest because uh, we didn't have all that much room in California and we have some goals that we want to achieve and we want to especially he wants to grow his plants and and do all the fun things that require more space um, I wanted to really have my own office uh, again something that we couldn't have in California because uh, it was really really small place so uh, these are all the reasons why we wanted to move to Arizona and um, there are a couple of other states that we're considering, but um, Arizona was the one that finally won and so far it's been really, really great. So last year, 2020, in December, we drove out here to Phoenix to look, look up a couple of places to you know stay here for a week, get the get the feel like how it is to be in Phoenix, what it feels like, what are people like, what are the places like. And we stayed, stayed here for a week and we were just, you know, uh, driving light around uh, looking for um, places uh, went all over you know in Phoenix and Tucson and other uh, other places too and then finally found literally on the very last day found the place um, that we ended up getting so uh, it took us another month to you know do everything we needed to do in California and this was the really really busy period of time uh, and then early February we finally moved and we have been loving everything about it to be honest there is nothing at least right now not too many things that I don't love it it's it's great it's obviously a lot warmer uh, which I know will be a tough Thing as you know spring and summer uh, come around because it will get really really hot uh, last year in July we were mm -hmm. here uh, to visit Grand Canyon um, it was in July and of course it was really really hot I even burned myself <laughs> uh, sitting in the car so it just gets really really hot and that's definitely something we're gonna have to get used to but I guess all that means is that I just gonna have to start getting up really early to get my daily movement in because um, I, I cannot stay inside all the time. I just know that about myself. Um, and I just have to get a little bit of movement before I do anything else. So we'll see how the spring goes, how the summer goes. We'll see. But so far, it's been really, really um, amazing. 
And also, like I said, what I really enjoy is having my own office, which is great. Uh, I can record my podcast here uh, and then do my work here. And so bigger place really makes such a, a big difference. And of course, there are other crazy, not crazy, but great things about moving here too. Uh, one of them, and you know this about me, I love the gym. I love being in the gym. I, lift, I love lifting, lifting heavy weights. And as grateful as I was for having adjustable dumbbells um, all throughout 2020 that I had bought earlier, I was so lucky, lucky because I know that a lot of people couldn't even buy any weights. I was so lucky, lucky to have them and do my backyard workouts. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen plenty of those. Um, it wasn't still the real thing, right? So now in Arizona, gyms are open and I've been going for a couple, probably like a month, six weeks or so. Um, and it has been really, really good. I've been enjoying it a lot. So this is uh, one of the, the biggest things um, that we moved. And like I said, I have been absolutely loving it. Now, what else have we been up to? We've been traveling a little bit. Of course, the drive alone from California to Arizona was was a lot. Uh, moving was a lot. It was physically really, really difficult and we didn't hire anybody. We did everything by ourselves and um, uh, and then we just drove here and then we have had a couple of other trips too. just two weeks ago We went hiking and camping in Texas So that was my first time ever visiting Texas and it was great We we loved it here and loved it there and definitely want to go back uh, actually next month. I will be back um, I will be going to Austin though to meet my mastermind mastermind coach and my business coach and my mastermind uh, friends uh, over in Austin, but also uh, during this road trip, we came back and visited um, New Mexico, which is also really good. So it's it's been great to to kind of add two more states to my list that I had never uh, visited before. And now it's been a lot of a lot of traveling, a lot of driving, and honestly, I'm really ready to you know chill on weekends and not drive anywhere and just uh, rest and recover. But it's been great. Uh, it's been awesome to explore new places and. I can't wait to see what else Arizona has to, to show us. I'm really, really excited to be in this new state. Okay, what else has been up to? So I'm probably gonna get into uh, more of these topics in future episodes, but, um, but I definitely have worked on my health as well. I mean, it's always a priority, but there was a period of time in December when my health started to not be so awesome um, for, for a little while. And uh, I started having pretty significant sleep issues. And if you know me a little bit, uh, you know that um, every time when stress level gets a little bit too high for me, then I start getting sleep issues. And I know exactly what I need to do um, to get better, but oh, these things don't always help. So I have, to, I have to be really, really religious about my, my thing. So I just know that, for example, when I take on too much work or when I take on too many responsibilities, uh, and then also, you know, we had the, you know, the traveling and then driving uh, to Arizona and uh, also, you know, uh, working in person. And so it was just a lot of stuff that was going on. And I started to get really, really exhausted. And I started to uh, have more and more sleep issues. And um, I remember that week, actually, when we were in Arizona, um, then my sleep got really bad. And um, I had decided to take a, a Dutch test. If you know what the Dutch test is, it is a hormone uh, test, um, and I did the cycle mapping one. And I'm hoping, and I'm hoping to have my practi practitioner on on this podcast also very soon to talk about what the Dutch test is, and what it can do for you, what it can show. Um, then I took the Dutch test, and it came back, and it showed really, really high cortisol levels. My stress level was through the through the roof, and I was not um, I was not very surprised about it. It was just like a confirmation that okay, this is what's been going on, and I had to really start um, taking better care of my health and uh, take on a little bit less responsibilities, going to bed earlier, and starting to implement more stress reduction practices, all kinds of things. Uh, which I'm also going to share probably a little bit more in the future. Also got some uh, supplement help, which was really good. Um, but honestly, looking back now, where are we now? End of um, end of March. So two months later, I feel completely different. I can't tell you how much different I feel. And as you know, I often talk about periods and the menstrual health is really, really important for me. 
And it was so obvious that this December uh, was really rough month for me. And my December period, which was the last day of December, showed up really bad. It was very painful. Um, and I just know that it was all because of the stress. So in a way, I think, you know, as women, we always say that, oh, the periods, periods suck. They, they're so annoying. You know, why do we have to deal with them? But on the other hand, I feel like it's really cool that they almost like put them back on the right track if they if they come if they come really weird or something is really painful or they last super long or there's some kind of severe irregularity then it's a sign for us that hey check yourself see this is your life this is your health uh, you know check engine and it's on so you got to do something about it because otherwise we would keep going and going and going and going until we are completely burnt out and there's not you know the recovery is going to take a long time so anyways, uh, I got the test, I got some help, and I started doing a lot of stress reduction practices. So one of the things that I want to talk about today, which is also, uh, I would almost say life-changing, is that I started um, really regular um, breath work uh, practice. So it started so that uh, I have a friend, a really good friend, uh, Jen, back in California. She's a chiropractic doctor and amazing human being. And she's also a uh, breath work um, teacher or instructor and also yoga instructor. So um, Jen and I did a couple of meditations together and uh, and couple of I took a couple of private yoga classes from her because as we all know, there was no access to any yoga classes, but private class was available for me, so I did it. And in one of those uh, yoga slash meditation classes, she asked me, what do you want to do? Have you have you done breathing lately, like breath work? And I have had a little bit of experience with breath work, but not a ton, right? So in 2019, I was in Costa Rica. Um, I attended ayahuasca ceremonies. If you know what ayahuasca is, I actually do think I have a couple of YouTube videos on that experience too. So it's a plant medicine that you take in the gut that can show you all kinds of things about your life, about your past life, about um, all the struggles you've been through and heals you. So uh, as part of this ayahuasca journey, we also did two um, breath work sessions. So this was the experience that I had with breath work and uh, now with Jen, uh, we did one round of, or one session of breath work, and it was incredible. So much stuff just came out of my system, like so many, um, so many, I don't even know, it was just emotionally really kind of freeing. And I just remember sitting there doing the breath work under her guidance and, uh, and I just started, you know, crying and I felt all kinds of sensations in my body. And I was just lying there there and not really realizing what the heck just happened. It was really emotionally super profound uh, moment. And I just realized how much I had kind of um, built up this tension in my body. So, uh, and I decided that I want to do more of that. And then she mentioned um, Wim Hof. So I don't know if you know who Wim Hof is, but I would look him up. So it's spelled W-I-M, that's his first name, Hof, H-O-F, right? So um, he has this breathing technique that is very easy to do. And uh, she, Jen asked me, have you ever tried Wim Hof? And I had heard about him and I had seen him in, um, you know, on some TV shows. I think it was a goop where I saw him. So I knew what he's doing. So he's the, the crazy ice man, right? So he's taking ice baths and ice cold showers. And he has this breathing technique that helps you to, to uh, just feel, feel better, feel healthier, boost your immune system. So we, we can trust so much more. We can trust our bodies. They're, our bodies are able to fight back all kinds of things. And also emotionally, it's really, really freeing and really, really empowering. So uh, I looked up his, his videos on YouTube. They're completely free. Uh, I also got the app then after that. And I started doing his breath work. The next day after I had session with Jen, I started doing the breath work. And I felt like oh my goodness, I can actually do something about my anxiety. Like the first time in, in you know, in, a, in some time I felt like, oh, it's, it's in my hands. Like I have complete control over it if I want to. And this was the, the response that I got after from this breathing technique. And it's, the breathing is really, really simple. So I really encourage you to look it up, how to do it. And for me, this has been probably the biggest um, 
game changer when it comes to just like calming my nervous system down and relaxing more and just feeling so much better in general. And I've done all kinds of things, you know, journaling is absolutely wonderful. I love it. Uh, guided meditation and meditation, I think they're really, really important. They're great. Yoga is, I love it. And I missed it all 2020 when it wasn't available for us, at least not in yoga studio. Um, so I've tried a lot of things. Um, and you know i've tried some plant medicine all that kind of stuff but this breathing uh, what i really love about it is so simple very easy to do um and it's really really profound so the first couple of times when i did it like i said i felt i felt amazing and i i heard interesting things i heard like there's a strong strong like rain or like thunderstorm outside where there actually wasn't it was all like in my ears it was like the emotions coming up it was incredible and so I also started adding the ice cold showers. So again, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I I uh, track that every day. So today I'm on day 53 because I committed to 100 days. So um, I do that every day as well. And this combination of deep breathing, it's not just breathing. It's like a rhythmic, it's a certain way. So I really um, uh, encourage you to look it up. So you do the breathing and then you do the cold shower and then you feel, feel the difference. So to me, this has been really, really the big thing. Like I said, I've also uh, had some supplementation. My diet's pretty much the same. I'm re eating pretty healthy all the time. I'm eating tons of cruciferous vegetables and leafy greens and and chocolate. Uh, I definitely drink a little bit less, a lot less wine than I used to before, and I'm feeling a lot, a lot better. And my sleep has gotten so much better. Um, during that most stressful time in December, my sleep was, you know, it was pretty bad, but uh, now it has been really, really great. And I know that it's because just emotionally I'm doing so much better uh, because of this breathing. I'm so much calmer. I'm so much more relaxed. I don't have anxiety anymore. I just feel like a totally different person. So this is uh, something that I've been doing and uh, Hugh and I together, we have been doing some, trying out some other um other spiritual practices which have been really really great and maybe i'll get into them uh, in the future too but right now i would say that this um, uh, wim hof breathing technique has been super super helpful uh, for me in order to start feeling a lot better and feel healthier and generally feel genuinely feel a lot happier so that's really really great all right what else is new so like i said after moving to arizona we got back our gym so i am going to the gym again i'm really really happy about that um and it's just um you know it's cool to work out on your own and i think if i had like a home garage and and this all in uh, equipment i would probably do that as well but right now i don't have it uh, we live in an apartment and not in a private house so i'm going to the gym and i absolutely love it and one of the big changes that i have noticed in the first uh, in the recent you know four to six weeks is that um not only is my mood a lot better and i just feel a lot happier my body has changed a lot too. And honestly, I've been getting this question lately, hey, have you lost weight? And the truth is, no, I have not lost weight. I have just lifted heavier weights. And that, my friends, really shows. It really does. So that's why I'm always a big proponent, proponent for women. Hey, lift heavier stuff. You can do this, okay? Of course, form first. But if you can, then lift heavier weights because this is what truly will change your your body, the way you look, and also your hormonal balance, your ability to burn body fat, um, just, you know, look look more toned, like many people say toned, like, but actually it's just looking more muscular, looking uh, leaner. But it's not only the physique benefits, uh, the, the looks, to me, it's just the, the mindset, the, you know, I'm looking forward to my workout days and I'm just like, I'm so much happier. I feel great under a heavy bar, heavy for me. Uh, and I just love following a really good structured uh, workout program that I know will give me the results that I want to get. And I've been just really, really happy uh, doing that. Okay, let me see if there's anything else. I think I covered most important things. I wanted to mention the move. I wanted to mention um, the health updates and how that has improved and also the gym. So I think this is probably all that I got for you for this episode. And moving forward, I will have more episodes that are more focused on you know, strength building, healthy living, 
the usual things uh, and then of course also macro tracking because I am a certified macro coach and I do help women with that I'm also a certified personal trainer and I do help women with these topics and I hope to interview more uh, amazing people for this podcast as well so you can learn from them too um, and just keep this podcast you know cover different topics and bring more interesting people to you as well. So this is all I have for you. Thank you so much for being back and I'll see you in the next episode.